Meet Steve. Steve Sheets switched into journalism at Arcata High School three weeks into the school year after realizing that if he stayed in his third period creative writing class, he would be forced to read a book. <laughs> I introduced myself to Steve as the editor-in-chief of the Arcata High School Pepper Box and told him that he could write about anything he wanted, but it probably wouldn't get published because we were halfway through a news cycle. He submitted this. I am a living example of the push and pull relationship with tobacco. Like the waves in the ocean, its harmful pull can sweep you out into a sea of addiction. We made room for it. <laughs> Still, Steve admitted that his motivation for writing the article was for the sake of earning a passing grade. But something happened when Steve saw his article printed in a paper. He described to me later, when you're writing and you see your work come out in a paper, it's a cool feeling. It's a really cool feeling. I spent my whole high school wasting my time on drugs. I never thought I'd do something cool in my high school career. Now, Steve is among the top reporters in our class. His articles are in before deadline, and he consistently asks if there's anything he can do to help. Unfortunately, stories like Steve's are becoming less common as high schools nationwide fold their journalism programs. In 2009, NBC's Brian Williams stated, the obituary column is full of the death notices of American daily newspapers. In 2010, the pepper box almost fell victim to this fate, when due to budget cuts, the journalism class was eliminated. A group of proactive students led by former editor-in-chief Sarah Hahn ran the class as a club, developing four outstanding papers. Their inspiring story, with help from extensive media coverage, rallied interest back into print media. The next spring, the administration was forced to reinstate journalism as a class. That's when I joined the pepper box. <laughs> the group of seniors that had kept the pepper box alive the previous year had recently graduated, and our editorial staff was left with no journalism experience, no money, and only two quasi-functioning computers. Two years later, we reflect on this event not as an obstacle, but as an opportunity. It forced us to pause, assess the situation, and resume with the tabula rasa. We were then able to ascertain the essential ingredients necessary to please an ever-changing 21st century teenage audience with traditional newsprint journalism. The fundamental difference between major publications and their student counterparts is student newspapers provide unparalleled and irreplaceable information. If the New York Times were to go out of print, readers could obtain comparable news from numerous other sources. But where else are students going to voice their opinions about how their school is being run? And how else will students hear about issues important to them? You know, like the No Shave November phenomenon at Arcata High? <laughs> or even that teenage boy's reactions to Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> Similarly, Students enjoy our print publication because they seek something different. In an age with so many mass media mega celebrities, students want to see their own everyday heroes, their history teacher, the girl wrestler, the kid with muscular dystrophy in the back of the class. But high school newspapers are more than just a voice of the student body. They are a tangible resource. At any moment, teenagers can and do express their beliefs and opinions online. Like, OMG, Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez just broke up. <laughs> right? <laughs> but when a piece of writing has been researched, edited, and sanctioned with a stamp of approval, it becomes official, not just Facebook official. Your picture printed in a newspaper will always be more significant than your picture posted online. You just don't get ink on your fingers staring at a computer screen. A few weeks ago, I was reading a newspaper when the headline caught my eye, Newsweek to cease print publication. Although sad, I was simultaneously filled with a sense of awe. The pepper box was found in 1927, five years before Newsweek. <laughs> oh.
Now, in our 85th consecutive year of print, we are still thriving alongside hundreds of high school newspapers across the nation. Inspiring students like Steve Sheets help high school newspapers continue to be a medium upon which today's youth can express themselves. A microphone capable of projecting the student voice to the community and beyond. Now, more than ever, student press is crucial as a vehicle to rebirth the individual and societal horizons of today's youth and activate the voices of our future. Thank you.